opponent holds me, I pull him. I want to have a reaction from him. I pull, I want him to pull back. When he pulls back, I return. Opponent pulls, I pull back. When I pull back, my hand comes between our hands like this. Okay? And I wrap my hand around his wrist. Again. Pull, wait for the reaction. Okay. My feet do N 180. One, 180. So I'm standing near him, either here, here, or here. All the shoulder locks, onikudaki, ura onikudaki, goshadori, work like this. This is the axis that conveys all the power to the shoulder joint, and this action will tear the rotator cuff, the capsule of the shoulder, and cause damage. Okay, like this. When I get and enter into Goshadori, I must bend the elbow. Bending the elbow is always easier using my body weight. So I go down and up. When I go down, if his elbow is stiff, If he has a stiff elbow and he holds it straight, please straighten the hand, which is not the best behavior from Uke's side, what will happen? First of all, I cannot do the Goshaduri. What I have here is a wrestling wizard, okay? Which is a throw, but it's more difficult and problematic for him than a throw because he overextended his elbow when uh, innocently I try to bend his elbow and he rotates his hand, here I will break the elbow. So instead of doing a shoulder arm lock that he sometimes can deal with, okay? He can go, go all the way back and deal with, he has at the first few centimeters of me trying to do the uchikomi, he's breaking the elbow, his own elbow. So resisting Goshadori, if you go down, is catastrophe for the opponent. Okay? This is why when we teach in Doja situation, we always explain it how the uke should behave. The uke should help me. Helping me is a good protective behavior for uke. How does the uke help? He bends the elbow. Now that I went down and up, this is fixed in place. Now I have several directions of working the arm lock. First direction is backward. When I go backward, the leg that is between my body and the opponent's body should go down. Going down with the other leg means I'm not so stable, but here I'm stable. When I'm going down, I want to lift the elbow up like this and take him and make him sit and possibly roll. No need to roll now, just showing some points. One. Lift it up. Another direction is when I'm here, just look this way. So this will dislocate the shoulder, there is no control, higher level of violence, lower level of expertise, but sometimes this is what is needed. Ta. And it's just like a chicken wing. I twist and take it out. Another way to do it is combine the same direction here with a throw. I do this and I do a Tayotoshi Goshadori. So this is very common and devastating. One, two, three and I will throw him forward, please fall gently. And I will leave, I will leave. Why? Because if I continue to hold while he's rolling, dislocate the shoulder. What is a danger here for me? If he squares up, what does it mean he squares up? He somehow twists his leg and comes this way. Now I don't have anything. 
I don't have anything because he's squared up and I'm just holding the elbow <coughs> and not controlling it. Now we are in a position over, under, or clinch position. To prevent him from going round and squaring up, okay, I have two options. The best option is control the elbow. If the elbow is up and he tries to go this way, he cannot do it. The elbow prevents him. First strategy. Another way to do it is do boshi. So I do boshi to the base of the neck, okay? And then I have the arm lock, not so strong, but still a hold. And I have the boshi and I can... This concludes Gosha Doi.